All right, we're back with Sui Coden episode two, the promised victory that we always said we were going to do, but we never actually did. I'm joined by Connor Hughes on remote Colin. I'm some guy named Tyr, and I'm at Gregman. Two hours and 34 minutes into the game. Connor, why don't you remind me what I'm doing here? Apparently, I'm washing some clothes. Yeah, that's uh, that's loading screen <laughs> there, and it has it's always going to have a bunch of different characters that you'll eventually be able to meet up in the game. I, I quite like the loading screen in this game. Uh, you are currently uh, training up, and you're trying to level up so you can go and visit. I think it's Mount Sifu uh, to get a sick room. So we are we are like uh, you know, hundred and galaxy braining this game, and we are. We've got all the secrets here, so I'm going to let you in all that good stuff. All right, let me lower the game's volume, because I feel like it's really cutting over you quite a bit. It's a little, it seems a little, little loud, but the yeah, soundtrack right. in this game is one of the most excellent features, I think. It's it's really excellent. Um, the woman who made, who made the soundtrack for this game and then the subsequent games, we get in two. Uh, like she, she only worked, as far as I know, she only worked on those two titles, and then she sort of retired or something. And Sui Coden and Sui Coden Two. Yeah, <laughs> it's really excellent, I think. But you know, I lowered the volume fifty percent. Doesn't really seem like it's lowered fifty percent, but I guess this is where I live now. <laughs> All right, I remember talking to a lot of these people already. Oh, this yeah, is the imperial did. capital of Gregminster. It's worlds away from the poor village I was raised in. All right. Now I have gained a new rune power as tier, right? Oh, never mind. Whoa, ouch. Watch where you're going, you little runt. I get called to duty on a holiday, sent out to search for someone all night, finally find a moment to catch some rest, and you come along. Shut up, you fool. <laughs> I don't know, Connor. What do you think? <laughs> Should I just straight up? <laughs> you better I think try it's definitely to be... one of those one of those choices only you can make. I mean, it's definitely going to impact the entire game, so you better make the right choice. <clears throat> I somehow I feel like you're lying to me on that one. But <laughs> we better try to be inconspicuous. Halt, you little runt! Who do you think you are, bumping into me and not apologizing? What kind of upbringing did you have? Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. It's Gremio. Young master, are you all right? Hey, you. Who do you think you are? Who are you? What's this young master business? You. Show me his face. You look like that fugitive, the McDoll kid. What did you say? Any more of a fuss and we're in big trip. Man, I try to keep it on the down low. Who are these clowns following me around that can't take a hint? <laughs> Young master, get away while we hold them off. No, we can just beat them together. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. That's enough, young fella. You too, Imperial Big Shots. Use your heads. Would fugitives from the law still be hanging around here? They couldn't be that stupid. I, I suppose you're right. We just wanted to be sure. Stop it. You're scaring them. Leave it to me to kick them out. Hey, wait a minute. Victor seems like he's going to be a party member. Don't worry. There's no reason why we should be so loyal to the Empire. Wait, why would you say that? Hey. It's that guy. Seriously though, why would Imperial Guards say they shouldn't be loyal? They should be loyal, right? No. Oh. There's mass discontent within the Empire. Oh, that's not, true. Not going great. No big deal. I was just wondering how to pay for my meal and... You mean... You did that just to bilk the... Alright, come, come, let it go, eh? Well then, thanks for helping us out. Who's us? Alright, I'm gonna follow that guy. Where's his bitch ass at? <laughs> Who is, is this him? Indeed. Yeah, that's it. What's the matter? You look troubled. <laughs> I know who you are. That rebel McDull kid, right? We're not rebels. I couldn't care less either way. Incidentally, how do you plan to escape this place? 
I have an idea if you care to listen. I am used to this kind of thing. Interested? All right, help us out. Leave it to me, but I have one condition. Here we go. It's no big deal. If you succeed in escaping, I'd like you to meet someone. A small request, why? So, it's a deal. Let's hurry. First, we must go to the palace gates, but don't worry. I won't hand you over to the Imperials. Oh, I have an entourage now. Oh, yeah. I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm not just a rebellious general son. I'm also now fashion icon. Well then, I'll go talk to them. Just relax and wait here. I mean, have I'll you seen bribe them. Right? I have a bag of wheat. Everybody loves wheat. Everything's okay. Make sure you hide your faces. I, mean, I just told them you're my wives. <laughs> sure is hot around here. Think I'll get in the shade. Wow, incredible subterfuge here, guys. Phew. We did it. I thought my heart would burst. How did you do that? No big deal. I just gave him a little gift. Imperial soldiers act tough, but money is their weakness. That's the state of things in the Imperial capital. Corruption is everywhere. Everything's about to come apart at the seams. That's too bad. Say, how did you bribe him? You just told us you had no money. Why should I use my own money to help you get away? What do you mean? Hey, my wallet. When did you? Here you go. I suggest you keep a better eye on it. And now for our little promise. You haven't forgotten, have you, little felt man? This guy is such a patronizing jackass. <laughs> He's great. Come on now. It's Master Tear. Okay, so it's Master Tear. I'd like you to meet someone in Lenin Camp. Read. It's a promise. I've never heard of Lenin Camp. No, I'm gonna say it's fine. Now let's get out of here. Lenin Camp is due south of here. All right. You think we should level for a bit, Connor? You say something check. like it. Didn't I already get the special secret rune, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I, I forgot where we were. We must have. Uh, looks like we already put it on Grimio. Okay, excellent. So, yeah. Okay, we got past that grind moment, which is excellent. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we still had that to go. Are we still gonna grind, or are we good? No, I think you're good. Cause like right now, you have to be way better at high level than like you normally are. Cause of course we, we grinded, and uh, and now with the prosperity rune. That gives everyone... Oh, no, that's money, I think, so... Um, or is it? Let me check. Victor can't even attack. Why can't Victor attack? Uh, Victor is a short-range character, so short-range characters need to be in the front line to attack. All right. Do I have anybody that's not short-range that I can put in the back? Yeah. Cleo will be long. You'll see L, so that uh, means they're long range. And medium means they can they work fine in both, both positions. Alright. And Lennon Camp is the city we went to before, uh, earlier. Uh, you see that, that town right there. Interesting. Okay, so we're much further ahead than that top we were next. The story was just getting interesting. If you recall, um, Ted... Uh, yes, no. left me his Soul Eater rune. That's right, that's right, okay. You have a pretty know. terrible night, and then, then along came Victor, and he helped you out. Pretty nice guy, I think. I wouldn't say we were a terrible night. I mean, did I mean, Victor make things better or worse? Sure, my dad may be dead, and the Empire's falling apart, and everyone's corrupt, but... I'm gonna get in one more fight. How have you been, Connor? I haven't talked to you in forever except showing up to lurk in your chat. Uh, okay, pretty good. Good things are getting back uh, into a regular regular pattern for me. Got the kids in daycare, so I'm enjoying uh, being able to work consistently on White Ash, and then eventually, um, dare I say it, even the game. Uh, what about the, the Adept Volume Two? Uh, Adept is a project that I'm 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 still helping out on a little bit, but uh, but they're sort of doing they're, they're moving along at their own pace. So when when they need me, they'll 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 call me up. All right, because I saw a thing on the Adept. They're like, we're gonna start a new Kickstarter. 
and everyone's coming back. And I was like, everyone, that must include Connor. But given that you've just said you're not coming back yet, I'm thinking I was lied to. Um, well. <laughs> Did I only get one use of Firestorm? Does that reset when I go to an inn or something? Or what's happening there? That's correct. So the way right. runes work in this game, you can, um, it's much more like, uh, like D&D, right? Like you have yeah. different little slots and they're very limited. So like you get one casting or two castings. It's not like Final Fantasy where you get like a mana pool and like you can use items to replace Materia. Them. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I like the Final Fantasy way. What I'm used to. Everyone yeah. knows you should never try anything new. There we are in, in Lennon Camp here. Clear. Not much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. Ha 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 ha. Well then, it's about time I got to go to work. Oh no, I got to work. Let me make some arrangements. I may be late, so take a look around. Well, given the way RPGs work, I'm probably gonna wander around until I get into an encounter that will be like, all right, I'm about to beat your ass and Victor will show up and be like, no, 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 hey guys, let me solve it. Who is this fellow that Victor wants us to meet? You know, I can't quite trust that man. I have no idea. So what shall we do now? I'd love to take a shower. So would everybody. Everyone loves to take a shower. If you're just spending the night, I recommend the Kayaki Inn. It's just down the street. The Rune Master Shop. Do some rune stuff. Right, so I think this is probably where we attached our prosperity room. That holy crystal will work, uh, you know, if you're curious, will work very well on Victor. Well, I don't have Victor, so... Well, you don't have Victor, but if he if he ever comes back, you might want to use that. Uh, right. You can also level up your weapons. I think this has a blacksmith in this town. Is it true that General Tao went north? War is bad for business. This is how you know that guy's not for rank. He'd know that war is good for business. He'd also know that peace is good for business. They say some traitors are on the run. It's not you guys, is it? <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, this looks like an inn, so instead, I'm going to look for that weapon shop you were talking about. Because I do like yeah, weapons. We'll have like, a little hammer on in front of it. There's the armor shop. We upgrade some armor. Can we do that? Yeah. I don't know how much money you have, but whatever you can do. Brass armor. Defense plus five. What do we have? So when you go over an item in the shop, it'll like highlight green, red, and that'll tell you green will be, you know, it's proving it red is it's, it's worse than your current gray is the same. So that kind Interesting. of thing. Potion seller. Bring me your strongest potion. I don't know if this game was one of the earlier games to adopt that kind of like comparison uh, visual schematic, mainly because of course you got these six members in your party. Oh, you can try that stew. I think that's a sort of a thing in this game. It's always worth it to check all the stews. Uh, except when there's nothing. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, I've always wanted to play Tales of Destiny with the group. And in Tales of Destiny, random objects could be the mysterious wonder chef who would teach you new recipes. So, like, you'd be I talking... Yeah, yeah, you'd be talking to... Well, you've heard it from me, because I talk about it all the time, because <laughs> Tales of Destiny is one of the first four-player PlayStation games, and it was fucking excellent. All right, is this the weapon shop? This is the blacksmith shop. So you don't buy weapons in this game. You buy... You you upgrade your current weapons. So you can... Uh, you, got, you already have... Um, you, it looks like tiers already upgraded. The max. Do I want to give Gremio a Thunder Rune? That's sick. I, I think I always put it on uh, tier, but you can put it on whoever you like. Well, tier's already got a water rune. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We like right. radio. Honestly, I for, I don't really know what the, the rune pieces like. How much you know precisely what they do? You know, maybe just increase your damage. Or but it looks like you can sharpen like tiers at five, and then radios at one. This is as much as I can handle. Oh. Okay. Start making Grimio a boss. I got plenty of money because of that prosperity. Yeah, very helpful. And of course, 
like, in this, it, it's very useful. It's like, you're, you're gonna be upgrading a lot of people. Uh, yep, because we definitely know that we're eventually gonna finish this game. Of course, of course. <laughs> it's only been like eight months <laughs> since the last episode. Look, man, uh, you know. We're it's high demand, though. Out. High demand. And then we gotta move on to ta top, uh,. Sorry, I was thinking of top English, but that's the that's the Tales of Fantasia. But Tales of Destiny, I suppose, is POD. Listen, if you wanted to join me for a multiplayer Tales of Destiny, that would be incredible. <laughs> Although, for the folks at home, I don't think it's called Tales of Destiny in Japan. It was called Tales of Eternia 2. It was called oh, okay. Tales of Destiny in America. But then they came out with another series called Tales of Destiny. It's all, it's all from the same Tales genre, you know, Tales of Viseria, Arise, whatever. I think they're all the same, not set in the same world. <laughs> I've got something to tell you. <laughs> you know how monsters sometimes leave behind those urns? Well, sometimes you find valuable things in them. <laughs> if you take these things to an appraiser. <laughs> Guy seems like he might, you know be part of the evil villain team right there. Alright. Yeah, Tales of Fantasia, that's the one that, like, for me, like, has such a fun combat system. It's from, uh, that's on SNES. Something about a daughter named Meg. Darn that tomboy Meg! Adventure calls indeed! Making her folks worry like this. Tomboy Meg already sounded like best character in the whole game. Definitely not. This guy, Tyr. What's he do? Get in trouble and have everyone around him save him constantly? <laughs> I mean, everyone likes him, so, you know, I don't know. He seems like a life likable fellow. Welcome to the Kayaki Inn. The bed is 70 bits per person. I'll throw in breakfast. We shall stay here. So, you are a friend of Victor's. Well then, I'll prepare the best rooms we have. Nice. It's good to know people, you know, especially co-workers. I guess what's his name, Victor? Never returned. But we didn't make any other plans. Let's wait a bit longer, and if he doesn't show up, we'll head north. Maybe Master Teo can help us. Huh. Cleo, why did... Shh. Don't. Gremio. What's going on? At such a late hour. We've heard that some fugitives are staying here. We'll look around. But sir, our guests are sleeping. Shut up. Do you plan to harbor rebels? Where are the police? Young master, they've come for us. The police. Victor, he must have ratted on us. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. I want to just say Cleo is voiced by the woman who does Lena Inverse. That's, I mean, it's just, human looks like her. What should we do, young master? Let's fight. Pretty sure we're gonna beat their asses. Yes, young master. I, Gremio, will protect you with my life. Oh, stop it, Gremio. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Calm down. I'm not... <laughs> One firestorm from you and it's over for them. What do you, you think I'm kidding? We'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> but she didn't rest, so... I... Uh, uh, listen, I hit rest. All right. I don't even need... Okay, I don't even... I'll just chop, chop, chop. So, okay. Damn it, Connor, with your partial logic. I feel like I... <laughs> Game Master, but I laid down to rest. Shouldn't I have gotten the long rest? No, your rest was interrupted. Interrupted and you were wearing plate armor. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're in big trouble now. Gremio, maybe we can get Young Master out. Or there's no windows. Wait a second. There's really obviously a dude behind that clock, right? <laughs> this way, hurry. Who was that? I feel like I'm having trouble keeping people's accents in place. There's a lot of characters. Don't worry about it. What are you waiting for? Hurry. Do you want to get caught? <sighs> Who are you? 
Whoever it is, thank God. So you're the new friends that Victor told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. I'm going to check these pots first, lady. Then I'm going to wander around aimlessly. Check that table. No, I wanted to keep going. No! <laughs> it stopped you. I got caught! <laughs> Sorry, Tear. You must have had a tough time, but it was exciting, wasn't it? What's going on here? I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh, well, now that you've met Odessa. Odessa, the name rings a bell. You don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army? We prefer to call ourselves the Liberation Army. But who cares about names? Let me introduce myself. <laughs> Who cares about names? Here's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, dude, I don't know if it's just bad translation or bad dialogue. This is not great. Honestly, that never occurred to me before. I, I love it anyway. It's okay. <laughs> I'm Odessa Silverberg, leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? What to go with this guy? I mean, he looks like he could also be a protagonist. Yeah. Victor! That's great. Are these the people you wanted us to meet? That's right. No, that's wrong. He's the farmer. That's right. Prepare yourselves for a surprise. This here is the son of General Tail McDowell. And a fugitive to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You've got to be kidding. Why should the young master join the rebels? Isn't the point of this game that I end up leading the rebels? Right, young master? Maybe I should join the Liberation Army. So he says he's interested. We were planning to make him the leader, but then he just gave in instantly. If he just held out a little longer. <laughs> no way. Recently, many of our hideouts have been discovered. There must be a spy among us. Among us? With all the problems we already have, we can't afford to recruit complete strangers. I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Whenever he takes a liking to someone, he just drags them in. But they do appear to be hunted by Imperials, and the town's still full of soldiers. You may stay until things blow over. Whatever decision you make afterward is up to yourself. You, you've got to be kidding, young master. Join the rebels? No way. Rebels, Liberation Army, well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. On the other hand, what will Master Teo think? What do I care about what he thinks? He's my dad. It's not like he's in charge of me. If Odessa greets you as a guest, so will I. My name is Flick, Lightning Flick of the Liberation Army. You've never heard of me? Well then, remember the name. The quiet one there is Humphrey the Swordsman, and that's Sanchez. We three are pretty famous in the Liberation Army, you know. Sanchez doesn't even get a title like everybody else. You don't really think the Empire will take you back, do you? They'll kill you, for sure. Not if I'm Emperor. Hmm. Not if you get back with, uh, oh, what's her name? The, 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 the witch. My name is Sanchez. How do you do? I'm so sorry. You must have had the fight. Victor's got bad habits. I guess we're enemies. Too bad. What? Why would you say we're enemies? I want to join. Damn it, Victor. You're fucking everything up. And so are you, Gremio, you jackass. Why do we even keep you around? Don't look like shit here. Hey, remember when you used to have to press buttons to run in a game? Now there's only one speed. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, are you alright? I must tell Lady Odessa. Let's take him inside. Where are we? 
Don't worry, this is the Liberation Army Hive. Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa. Thank goodness, I'm one of the Mount Seifu bandits. But we only attack those rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day, the Imperial came over, and Imperial Guard came over and captured our bosses, Barkas and Sidonia. That should ring a bell. Barkas and Sidonia, could they be? Shh, be quiet. Lady Odessa, please help Varkas and Sidonia. That rotten Grady of Rockland has been strung up to starve to death. Outrageous! Execution without trial, even by Imperial law that's illegal. How awful. But Odessa, Imperial surveillance has been enhanced. We have to keep a profile. I am aware that we're other staff. If the bandits have asked for our help, we can't let them down. I feel like we really can let them down. Honestly, this has nothing to do with us. Young master, <laughs> Varkas and Sidonia are those bandits. Yes, we captured them while they were committing crimes. Jesus, this has nothing to do with us. Oh my God, are you going to loop me? Young master, don't you care? <laughs> This has nothing to do with us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> why? <laughs> but why it. offer the choice if you're not actually going to let someone do a choice? This is bad game mechanics. Ah, come on now. Basically, they figured no one would take it. It has nothing to do with us. They say the bandits only attack Imperials, but they attacked us. The bandits? Well, yeah, they we, we went to their base. You know? And they attacked us. Because you came along trying to arrest them. Uh, yeah. Turns out when you try to arrest people for murder and they try to kill you, you get to take them to prison forever. Alleged murder. What do you mean alleged murder? They tried to kill me. What do you want, what do you want from me? A game over screen? Would that prove it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I guess. What do you mean it's your fault? We... Are the Imperials the filthy run Imperials? I see. Well, even if you didn't know what you were doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right, Tyr? All right, no, I'm, I'm using the wrong accent for him, but also no! This is their own fault for committing crimes! But they're like, they're like, they're like Robin Hood, right? Like that, that dude was a jerk and they're just trying to like, you know. I don't recall any of this. taxes to the public. If they have grievances, they should take it before proper authority, not not killing people. The proper authority, they, like this guy's a corrupt, you know, Grady's a corrupt guy. He's already torturing them, you know? All right, we'll see. I don't recall any of this and I'm not willing to make a judgment call <clears throat> until, until I have more information. You must rescue Varkas and Sidonia and I'll help you too. I agree. I don't plan to betray the empire, but Grady is unforgivable. You're right. Undoing Grady's wrongs would be good for the Empire. Besides, if Young Master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Barkas and Sidonia are strung up at the home of Rockland's military command. If you don't hurry, they'll dry up. Please help them. Here, I beg of you too. Victor, you go too. Leave it to Victor. Let's get going, Tyr. Rockland, here we go. Victor joins the party again. East of the capital. Northeast from here. Huh. Don't think for a moment that I trust you. Victor, that goes for you, too. Please, Tyr, help them. Man, all these people asking for my help. Get out of here, fools. Who do you think I am? At least this time I didn't get uh, forced into virtual slavery. I don't have anything to do with this situation. Stop trying to make me have something to do with this situation. I want an alternate storyline for this game where you don't save these jackasses. 
this was definitely before that time period for gaming. You think? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Although, I mean, I guess some games probably had some choices. There were ASCII Dungeons & Dragons games that had some pretty sick choices. Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't know about those. This was my first RPG. So. My god. Alright, I need to give the Holy Crystal to Victor, you say? Yeah, that's at the Rune Shop. Um, you don't have to hand it over, I think you can just apply it like when you go to the Rune Shop. Oh, we do shot. want to use that defense crystal probably on, like, on tier. What is this defense crystal? Uh, so there's a defense rune piece, and I think that is something you use on, yeah, use it on somebody. So you can use it on tier. I don't think you need to move it over. You, uh, you don't, you just apply it to yourself, uh, like a item. I realize it's kind of confusing because I don't know crystal, but right. there's three, I guess there's three kind of, kind of crystals. Now, is this the kind of game where I want to put all of my stuff into the main character because there'll be one-on-one -on -one fights, or do I want to distribute items evenly among my people? You definitely want to apply stuff to tier just because you always know that you're going to have tier in your party. Because of course, do I though? You well, you thought you might have thought the same thing about Chrono in Chrono Trigger, but he leaves you for a good part of the game. <laughs> I mean, that is true, but you know, going by standard RPG convention. All right. Like. So Holy Rune doesn't have any powers. None of these things have any powers except for the Fire Rune, which appears to be the most... Re what does Soul Eater do if I can't even use it? Well, you know, I'm sure your powers will be revealed to you in a short time. You do want to change your formation again. Uh, Victor got to the back. Good call. ruining everything constantly. You'll see what the powers are when you get into a battle, so prosperity is a like a status change, right? You get more money at the end of the fight. And uh, Victor's one holy will give him an ability that you can use in the fight. Oh weird. You couldn't use his ability. Oh no, I guess I give I always give him a it's a different rune I'm thinking of. Holy might be, I don't know, you gotta check on what the status of it does at some point. What? That's right. This is Rockland. It's called Rockland because except for the rocks, it's a barren land. You're saying it's a land of rocks? I'm hungry. Terribly. No matter how hard we work, life gets worse and worse. All because of that bum grit. Oh, that was close. Just forget what I said. <laughs> they say a new emperor came to power some years ago, but out here in a country village, makes no difference who's emperor. Uh, emperor is the guy you met in the beginning of the game. Yeah, I recall. There's a woman with him. That's it. That's the extent of my knowledge in this. Oh. What do you want? I'd prefer not to be disturbed while I'm enjoying this stuff. I mean, by the look of it, there's chopsticks and steamed buns on that plate. Where are they steaming buns at? In the desert. What are you looking at? Some, something on my face? If you find me handsome, I'm inclined to agree with you. Look, Connor Hughes, you don't have to apologize for... Her. Trying to help me remember the story that I haven't played in many months. Oh, hey there, fella. Many years. <laughs> How about a contest? What the fuck? Dindling, dindling. Oh my god. How much do oh, you yeah. want to bet? We'll bet 1,000. I definitely feel like this is going to be a scam, and no matter what the actual question is. You, you could, given that you're playing on an emulation, you could probably uh, slow it down. <laughs> you could find out. I don't need to, Connor. I fucking have lightning eyes. So, a secret of this thing is that every single time you exit out, it will repeat the same order. So, the first one is left, and then it'll go up to 10. So, you can, like, remember a sequence of up to 10 
numbers. So you could, you could get infinite, like, you can get all the money you want in the, in, at this guy, if you want right now. Okay. That's okay. We have the... First off, we have a ton of money. We can't even spend all of it. And... Yeah, that's fair. It's a bit of a drag to do. But, I will say, I have done it. <laughs> Cause this I don't even know what I use it on, is the thing. Right. Well, you need a lot. I'll pay that much. But, it's fine. Well, when I need the money, I'll come back here and harass Marco, the up guy. We'll use cheats in order to get as much money as possible. Yes, yeah, cheats. They though. take it away as fast as we prepare it. They're talking about food. Could it be that you're with the Imperial Army? What's going on in this world? Life used to be so much better. What's the matter with Emperor Barbarossa? What is the matter with Emperor Barbarossa? Obviously, he should abdicate for the son of a popular general. A deep well. Conversation prohibited. Oni Chan, are you an Imperial Army soldier? You're not, are you? I knew it because you didn't hit me. Wow. Holy shit. What a straightforward. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, what a great, simple way of painting how bad the Imperial Army is that they beat children. Exactly. Yeah. I saw them. I saw them. It's true. The bandits have returned to Mount Seifu in the east. That's where they're hiding out. And not their leaders. Their leaders are in prison. The game is pretty efficient with this dialogue, I would say. Efficient. Okay. That's one way to call it. You didn't need to carry a weapon last year, but nowadays it's getting so dangerous around here. Alright, let's see. Got anything good? Got some upgrades for Vic. I just gotta say, I'm out here in this world looking for artists that draw stuff, and nobody is as fast as you. You're literally a madman, dude. It's insane. You got you got some speed. You gotta tell that to Charlie, I'm sure. I love when I see people release like speed draw videos. It's at like five times speed, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. I got Connor Hughes speed draws video for you right here. I don't need to speed it up. Who are you? Oh. You have no business here. Oh, well, yep. that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Where do they get the bamboo in the middle of the desert? That's all I'm asking. Security's pretty tight. It'll be tough sneaking in. Leave it to me. I'm used to things like this. And this guy has no character at all. <laughs> Help! The Grady Mansion is on fire! 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 What? Okay, so we can add arson to our list of felonies. Victor, what have you done? You didn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It must be the dry weather. My goodness. Young master, don't you dare take after someone like this. I won't. It'll be pretty easy not to. What? So we're not going to go inside the burning house. That seemed like a good plan. Ouch. Better watch those flames. Oh, nice bed. Sweet axes. Can't take them. All right, I very clearly see an Imperial soldier with a chest in there. And I'm thinking we should probably go take it. Oh, yes. Oh, that makes this a lot easier. Still no rune powers, huh? 
So if you're if you're ever gonna just press attack all, you can just use let go and it's faster. Just let you know. Very well. You can save yourself a little bit. Let it go, let it go. Alright. How do I do let go? Um fight? Oh no, I guess free will? Free will. Yeah, I should have said that instead. Wow, wreck. Yeah, well you guys are pretty like high level and then you sharpened all the blades, so yeah, definitely. Yeah man, I'm sharpening every single blade. I'm gonna make songs about how sharp my blades are. The one thing we don't do though, is talk about Bruno. Wait till you get wait till you unlock the super secret blacksmith. I've heard that in all the games having an all blacksmith team or having all four blacksmiths on one team lets you use the secret blacksmith art. Yep. Is this true? Well, so in the game, you can pair up different people, and different people will have uh, unique, unique called uh, I think they're called unite attacks. Yeah. And so these unite attacks, like they just do different things. So Tyr has one with one character, uh, and then also so if you have all four blacksmiths or uh, five, I forget. Um, you know, then they'll have a unite attack as well. Does it take all of their turns? And if it does, is it good? Uh, I will say it's pretty conditional. There's two doors you missed back there if you're, if you're curious. I will have to go back then. You know, I oh, really okay. want to just use Firestorm to solve this, but I'm guessing that there's a boss fight at some point that will probably be difficult. Damn, one damage. Yeah, I'm going to say, oh god, he got counterattacked. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. Rock. I'm healing faster than you can kill me, bro. Counter oh, yeah, attack of the. Uh, oh yeah, boy! The wow, he is destroying us. This guy's so good. Why aren't we He's recruiting crap. him? Can't pay him enough, probably. <laughs> How about your GP or your HP? Does this only heal me? So I want Gremio to use his own medicine. Now. So in, when you're when you're in your inventory, you can use that on anybody. Okay. And you want to use the same medicine package every single time, because like so you can't like uh, add like four more medicines to that two package. So, so I want to use up all the medicine at once. Precisely. So the last room must be this one here. Good call. I didn't really see those doors, but you're right. They are present. Yep, gotta get that loot. You know? You like loot. Got a couple of level ups there, I think. Somebody's level 10. Brass armor, huh? Take a look at that. Yeah, it looks like you can only equip items that are in your inventory. As opposed to, like, swapping them around. Sounds right. Try to remember the inventory system. It's kind of tricky. Uh. Oh, what's going on? I can't see. My god. It's you, Imperials. Why are you here? Have you come to laugh at me? Of course not. If we'd known what sort of fellow Grady was, we never would have helped him. A few things happened, and we're now we're wanted by the Imperials, just like you. We'll help you out. Thanks. Get my buddy too, will ya? He just teleported. Does he have a monkey tail? <laughs> Not necessary. Sidonio, why you? If you've got tricks like that, 
Why didn't you escape sooner? <laughs> Can't very well escape alone. Sidonia, you... They just became best friends for life. Hey, let's get out of here. Did Sidonia and... No, they didn't. Alright, let's fight our way back out of the... Oh, it's not going to make me fight out. Okay. Oops. I don't really feel like this is a good way to end political corruption, though, with the murder of innocent soldiers. Innocent. Yo. I mean, they beat children. You dare turn against the emperor, free the bandits, and even even set my house on fire? You'll be sorry. So you want to fight? Don't you think you're the only one with a grudge? Why, I'll cut out your eyeballs. What? Oh well. <laughs> I'd rather tear him to pieces. Um, please. Well, you see. You'll regret this. I'll tell Master Craze about this. You get yours. Cleo, do you think the Empire will take us back? I don't know. Young Master. <laughs> this guy, literally, the only thing he can say is Young Master. <laughs> is this a recording? Yes. Yes, we're recording. Right. We're recording. What game is this? Sui Coden. Sui Coden. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha, don't worry. There's all kinds of ways to make a living. Like setting people's houses on fire. That's how I make my business. Still on fire, huh? They really made oh, yeah. no attempt to solve that issue. <laughs> I guess we owe the Liberation Army our lives. Tell Lady Odessa that if she ever needs help, Marcus and Sidonia will be there in a flash. Well, we're off. Perhaps we'll meet again. It sure is great to be done. Let's go back to Lenin camp. Tyr, why don't you spend a bit more time with the Liberation Army? Come on. Young Master, when we return to Lenin camp, let's decide what to do. Yes, right. All right, I'm going to galaxy brain this. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go east towards where they said the bandits were. And I'm going to try to recruit those guys immediately to join my party. How about that? Mm. You thinking that's not a good idea? No, it's not. It's not a good idea. <laughs> I'd say you're probably gonna waste your time. I mean, you might get some insults, some good fights, but I think I don't think so much interaction you have there. Well, well, let's investigate. Let's see. It's a it's an old school JRPG. So I mean, you can get the prosperity rune early by doing shit like this. Sometimes you can recruit characters super duper early. At the very least, I'm going to get a bit of money. I heard that we need that in order to level up everyone's weapons. Hey! Alright, well, for fighting the bandits instead of being best friends with them, I guess we are actually going the wrong way. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be awfully hard to convince these guys to join us when I'm like, yeah. So I killed 20 of your guys on the way up here. Why don't you come with... No, I'm not arresting you. They have a sort of, uh, might mix right. Yes, might mix right. Literally the worst possible philosophy. Well, they're more like battle swords, if, you, if you've seen that uh, Toy Story short. We have that on all the time, so that's why I think... Nope. So, I'm sorry. Someone in, who watches will know. Oh, I'm sure there are a lot... Listen, as much as I have a lot of truckers that watch my content, there are also a lot of dads. There's one people that watch Toy Story, dads. Dads and oh, kids. Yeah. See, when it says let go, it means that you're probably not going to gain like much experience on it. Just let you know. As opposed to like run, where it's like then you're trying to run from them. There's some nice like little social, little cues or whatever that like tell you, oh, like, yeah. high okay. level. Certainly worth quite a bit of money. I'm not genius this. We're gonna stay, then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna move to the next city, because who knows? I don't know if you ever played this SNES game called Drakengard. 
Hmm, no. All right, so Draken Guard was what would happen if dragons ruled the earth from castles in the forms of humans and decided that it was very important for everyone to perform yoga. Yoga, you say? Yoga. Yeah, it was very important to at least one of the guys. Anyway, the point was, you could get random encounters while walking around that were the hardest fights in the entire game. It could be the first encounter that you had in the game. Could be the sky literally just coming down and fucking killing you. That's awesome. <clears throat> so you wanted to save pretty often in Dragon Guard. Oh, I wouldn't say this game is really that. No, it's not that hard. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, it doesn't have to be Dragon Guard level of hard, but you never know when you might find a shiny Kate Sith. A lucky fat Kate Sith out in the wild for extra bonus XP. More like an Ultima weapon? Ultima weapon. Uh, where were these guys? The Rebel Army? Yeah, they were in the inn, but they were also someplace near the inn. I don't remember I which house we came at. go back to the same, like, uh, clock. I think to be able to, like, get it. Oh, is that? It was literally in there? Alright, check it out. Check it out now. Oh, he makes a nice clock noise. Of course. Ignore this Rebel Army. This is a low-rent RBG here. This is Sui Koden. Yeah, I've heard you talk about it enough, Connor. <laughs> 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 this guy loves this game. Oh, yeah, it's got all the nostalgia for me. Tear, you're back. Nope, she's Scottish now instead of uh, Georgian. <clears throat> Where are we going for? We're going for Wanda from... Oh my god, I don't... I feel like I'm having so much trouble getting to, uh, like, Georgian-Russian accent. Hello, comrades. Here, you're back. Thank god. Our problems are solved. Yes, I got there. What do you mean? Odessa, you're not planning to. Yes, I am. What? What? What's going on? Here, take a look at this. What is it? Show me. What's this? Plans for a fire spear. Fire spear? Right. The Liberation Army may be tiny now, but someday will be big enough to meet the Imperials head on. When that day arrives, the fire spear will come in handy. We spent good money for this at the dwarf mines. Here, this blueprint much reached our secret factory. But we can't leave this hideout. No, no, they didn't. <laughs> I'd like you to take on this assignment. Enough. Don't you understand that we're members of the Imperial Army? How can you expect us to betray them? Let's go, young master. We no longer. We need to stay here no longer. Wait, I'm still slightly Russian. Do you have any idea what the Empire is really doing? Do you know what people want? Or will you pretend to ignore all that? Gremio, you saw with your own eyes, heard with your own ears. Are you willing to ignore the truth despite all you see in here? What about you, Tyr? Yep, the, the alternative option here is to just start killing everyone that we know I've trained with and I've ever worked with. That sounds like a good plan. I mean, Rebellion have you seen the movie Eternals? Like uh, I have not. No. Okay, it's so in the movie, there's this really interesting thing that happens where like all these characters are getting ready for a final battle and they're all friends, but they're starting to pick sides, right? Some of them are going for what, you know, we would classically think of as the bad guy. Other people are fighting for the side of what we would think of as good. Uh, although in the movie, they make it clear that that's a questionable interpretation. But one guy is just like, okay, look, everyone's fighting each other. I believe in the bad guy's side, but I don't want to hurt any of you. And he just leaves and he doesn't show up again for the rest of the movie. <laughs> he just fucking bounces. <laughs> that's what Tears should be doing here. Why get involved in any of this? You don't have to work for these shitty criminal rebels, and you also don't have to slaughter all your friends. Let's take a vacation to, like, Jamaica or something, Tyr. That's all I'm saying. 
Let your dad sort this out. You can come back when it's all cool. I mean, his dad's away at the border. Like, his dad will have nothing to do with the interior. Yeah, but his dad is obviously going to raise a huge army, come back, crown himself emperor. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, he's a pretty loyal guy. I don't think he would betray Emperor Barbosa. Are you telling me that I'm going to have to kill my father before this game is over? I'm not. I won't tell you anything. I, I want to let I feel like you just did, story. but all right. Look, I mean, I can neither confirm nor deny fought patricide in this game. Do you still want to return to the Empire and continue to be McDowell's little boy? I mean, that's my dad. <laughs> oh my god, these are my only two choices? That's right. If I choose since I'm a member of the Imperial Army, is it just gonna fucking loop me over and over again? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it then. Since I'm a member of the Imperial Army, fine, I understand. I don't want to force my beliefs upon you. But if you should change your mind, please come back. Oh, maybe you gotta, like, basically you gotta talk to her. <laughs> You're like, you can't do anything until until you come back and tell, tell her. Okay. Northwest of Lennon Camp. Sarah Day. Odessa. I just don't get it. Why do you insist on this guy? He may be an Imperial spy. Did you want to give him the blueprint for something that changed, that could change the destiny of the Liberation Army? Don't worry, I'm going to. What? You're going, I'm going to. Click, if you come along, who's going to protect this place? It's about time you began acting like a leader. Don't worry, Flick. I'll protect Odessa if you promise to protect this hideout. It said, to Mount Tiger Wolf, then. Odessa has joined Gar. I'm sure Flick is just a little bit, a little bit jealous. Is Flick a shrimp? Is shrimping for her? Yeah, probably not. The Wind of Sleep. Alright, so she's some sort of enchantress fairy type character. Ironic for being a leader, but... I mean, you know, she's got magic. I mean, Cleo isn't the enchant enchanter, but she's got magic. I think Cleo is an outright murderous thug who's helped me commit several crimes. I just realized I've never explored the sin. Now that I've got plenty of stuff, where should I take it? East to Rockland? Or maybe west, past Mount Tiger Wolf to Saraday? Oh well, wherever I go, I'll make a bundle. That's called counting your chickens before they hatch, friends. Damn, I was out for just a bit. Someone broke into my room. I've lost my life savings. Victor! It's at Northwest, right? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the same direction that we went to, um, you know, when we got the prosperity. You're... Connor? <laughs> yeah, I'm cutting out? No, it's just that you're okay. expecting me to remember... Of course. <laughs> I mean, I remember this game 100%. I uh, haven't played it before! 30, wow. 30 years ago, or whatever. That was pretty fast. Yeah, sometimes it really does turn off the, uh, you know, the auto-encounter rate. It's pretty bad at times. But yeah, it's that way across the bridge. And then to the mountain. You mean Mount Tiger Wolf? Ah, okay, yes, Mount Tiger Wolf. It's not Pigra. I guess it's not much. Tigra. What is wolf in Spanish? Tigra Lobo? Sounds right. Tigra Lobo. Sorry, I just got done watching Uncanto, which I guess isn't technically Spanish, since it takes place in Colombia. Uh, okay. Yeah, we haven't watched that one yet. I was gonna say, you have kids, so you're gonna watch it eventually. Oh yeah, definitely. But we've just been on, it's just, it's just been like endless Toy Story. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm let like, you I'm know. Like, How do we watch uh, something else? <laughs> Encanto, the song, We Don't Talk About Bruno is a fucking banger. Nice. The sun's beginning to set. 
You think we can cross the mountain before dark? I don't want to spend the night out in the open. In any case, we have to go up. Let's go. Why is this chest already open? Is this me? Did we come through here before? That's right. Yeah, this is how we came to get that prosperity rune. So you've already actually already done all of this. All right. So you can just be a breeze through it. I thought you said I could breeze through it. Well, yeah, I mean, you could you could hit let go. And you would actually literally breeze through it. Never. Never. You think <clears throat> I can let my, my leader who I... Look, she leveled up. I can't let my loyal leader remain in last place in levels as a scrub. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, by the way, but is also known as a buster. That's right. Are these ninja rabbits? Are they wearing Naruto headbands on their head? I mean, they're very clearly slasher rabbits. And you can call a rabbit whatever you want. Well, 54 didn't kill him, so I'm guessing they have something like 60 hit points. I could probably look it up if you're curious. Karate. You know. Let's take a look at that. It's a lot better, actually. Got him. Got him. Starting to remind me of classic Pokemon. <clears throat> Where you, you know, you've got an area with as dense a path as possible, forcing you to go back in on yourself. Wow, they dealt quite a bit of damage across the board. Odessa gonna die out here. Yeah, it's surprising that they can actually reach the back line. Look at that, look at here like a boss. Takes takes on the chin, no problem. He's super strong. Yep. That's why they want him in the group. Like, look how strong he is. He's level 12, and she's 7, and she's the leader, right? I mean, a rabbit nearly killed her. That rabbit had a Naruto headband and a sharpened axe. Look, I don't care what kind of rabbit you're talking about here. I'm thinking axe rabbits are a little bit more rabbity than normal. What the fuck's happening? Welcome, travelers. Coming up at such a late hour, you've really got guts. But you'd better stop here and continue tomorrow. It's something dangerous. I think I double tap. Why don't you spend the night here? Sorry, we're in a hurry. Great idea. My feet are killing me. For once, I'm in agreement with you. I'm not sure I can go on. I'm thinking we should probably go on. We'd better go on. You must be kidding. I've lost control of my feet. Me too, yeah? You lost control so much you walked over there, you fucking jackasses. To tell the truth, mine won't the rest too. Oh my god. Traitors. Yeah. Traders. You side with her, and then she totally just. <laughs> I'm so tired of this game forcing you to do things, <laughs> especially things that don't make sense. I'm going in, everything. Tear. It all makes sense to me. I mean, everyone's tired. You've been traveling for a long distance and had multiple fights. Dude, this guy looks so suspicious. Look at his character portrait. Excuse Whoa. me. Judging. Why don't you have some of this before supper? It's a specialty from Mount Tiger Wolf. Let's give it a taste. Oh no, I've been knocked out. Ugh, it's pretty bitter. Very bitter. Here's some for you, too. Not if it's bitter. Come on, just a taste. Not if it's bitter. 
It's not that bad. Besides, it's good for you. Not if it's bitter. Please <laughs> have some. Not if it's bitter. <laughs> Come on, just a taste. Not if it's bitter. It's not bad. Besides, it's good for you. Not if it's bitter. <laughs> Fuck you, Connor. I hate this. I hate it so he's obviously gonna put us to sleep with this poison. Hmm. Smells kinda funny, doesn't it? Say, old man, what's this tea called? It's a special Mount Tiger Wolf brew called Robber's Tea. That's a weird nah. My god, this is obviously drug. <laughs> Hey you, what have you gears mug? Damn, such an old trick. Yeah. That actually looks like it could be somebody's rap name, Young Master, but spill <laughs> no fouls. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Young Master. <laughs> Everyone's asleep. Thanks to the drug tea of Mount Tiger Wolf. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's no way I saw this coming from the moment we met him, Connor. <laughs> wow, for a bunch of stragglers, these guys are loaded. Looks like we'll be living the good life for a while. Hey, Ledin, how have you been? Doing well for yourself, I see. Why, it's Boss Kessler. Welcome, welcome, as you see, I just pulled a job. And a fine-looking woman in the bunch, too. Wait a minute, this here is... Ledin, what have you done, you fool? What do you mean? Do you know who this is? Just some super traveler, I should think. Idiot. Even an ignoramus like you must have heard of Lady Odessa of the Liberation Army. Why, of course, boss. Even kids know who Lady Odessa... You don't mean that this here is... Yes, I do. Hurry up and prepare an antidote. This guy's gonna be our best friend. We're gonna have him join our sixth party slot. He's never gonna leave us. <laughs> Wow. Situa situational awareness. This sounds awful. Um, let me see. A rabbit's tail, rose leaves, a handful of sugar. Ledin, if anything happens to Lady Odessa, you can say goodbye to your head. Yikes, rose tail, sugar leaf, handful of rabbits. What are you fucking putting rabbits in a tea for? Forgive me, Lady Odessa. Without knowing it, I nearly committed my life's gravest error. No, not becoming a bandit, then becoming a bandit king, then poisoning people and stealing their stuff. No, my error was being present when you were poisoned. <laughs> if you like, I'll make lead in here and pay with his. Please, sir, uh, spare my head. Don't be ridiculous. I'll have to be more careful from now on. Maybe I do trust people too much, like Flick says. It's a good thing no one in this party said not to drink the tea, and no one wanted to move on by this very suspicious cafe. I have no way of apologizing, but please stay here for the night. I'll do what I can by way of hospitality. But no more poison, you hear? Except if it's in my glass, because <laughs> I like alcohol. I'm a rough guy. But well, it's what nice that they have exactly five beds. Very handy. I will say, at least he didn't try and eat you. In the original novel, uh, they, they, they eat people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Why are these people friends with the Liberation Army? That's so much worse than just being a rebel or a criminal, being a cannibal. Well, I mean, in the original novel, they're cannibals, but in this one, they're not. You know. Yes, but again, that's so bad. <laughs> I mean, the dire circumstances. Dire? See, they have fucking rabbits right out the door. Connor, <laughs> the novel, they literally have rabbits back. to put in the tea. What are you talking about? 
In the novel, there weren't any rabbits, okay? There's funny, there are rabbits everywhere, man. That's all I'm saying. Are you a member of the Liberation Army, too? I see. So you're not. I mean, I feel like I've been forced into being one. I don't know why it would say that. Lady Odessa is a true heroine. She's serious about overthrowing the Empire. There are many who express discontent, but only she means to do something about it. I hate the Empire too, but I'm just a bandit, a cannibal bandit. Lady Odessa is our hope for freedom, to continue to be bandits. We're not going to stop committing crimes when she's Emperor. I'm going to give up serving poisoned tea. I've learned my lesson. Yes, that's right. I was wrong just one time, so now I'm going to stop. Good morning, young master. You're up early, Tyr. Oh, sorry, he wasn't farmery enough. Hey, Gremio, why is Cleo in such a bad mood? Don't bother her, Victor. Cleo is always in a bad mood when she wakes up. I see everyone's here. Today, we've reached Saturday. Leaving already? I'll unlock the door. In the creepiest way possible. I feel like it might be time to uh, save if we can have that functionality. I don't know that we yeah, got I've another there. I don't know that we got another 10 minutes in us. This might be a good place to just call it. Mm, you get to the town pretty quick. No, it's no, no. Have a good scene to leave off. No, nah, we're good. Listen, we can just talk for a minute, Connor. You know, right. I haven't talked to you in months. Months! Yeah, it's been quite a bit. I really wanted that cooking show to succeed super duper bad. You know, I love cooking. I love tabletop RPGs. It was such a good idea, and you had, yeah, you obviously had like a lot, a lot of potential going on in that. I show. Had passion for it in a way that I don't have passion for things for anymore. <laughs> You'll get it back, uh, or you could play, uh, you know, you could Sweet Coden. Sweet Coden Definitely. will revive my passion for hating cannibals. Sweet Coden will always feel, be there to fill that hole in your life. <laughs> Isn't this game only like five hours long? <laughs> it's yeah, it's reasonably. I'd say it's probably like twenty, thirty, probably. All right, let me let me check how long to beat. Sui Coden. Twenty and a half hours. All right, that's not bad, especially for a PlayStation yeah. game. For me, I remember like for me mentally, it's a very very long game because it's like the first RPG. So like that I played. So um, so in that regard, like it felt forever. You know, it felt like. But forever. it's not. No, it's twenty hours, I guess. If you do it efficiently, I mean, probably at the time I was like, you know, you know how back in, in at this time, if you if you didn't get where to go next, like you could take you could take forever to figure it out. Yes, yes, you could. That's how I, they padded their games. Well, it's not just that. Um, there was no. Way, I mean, beyond whoever you hired to do like alpha and beta testing, there was no real way to get a second opinion or establish like, oh, we think this way, but we're de we're game designers and developers, and we, you know we know the secret to beating this puzzle. You know what I mean? Like there was no way to go to the general public and be like, wow, this is way too hard. Let's change it. Yeah, definitely. Although in general, I think this game does a pretty good job of leading leading the the player. Not like some games. Name one game that doesn't do a good job of leading the player. Uh, Crystalis, I think. I don't know that if it is, but I'll agree with you. Like impossible. It's like a. I think it's a SNES. Might be NES RPG. It like it just had the most obscure like expectations that like you would know where to go. Well, folks, now that I got him on the hook. Saying that once we beat Sui Coden, he'll join me for Tales of Destiny. That's basically it. I've accomplished everything I needed to do. I finally found a partner to play Tales of Destiny with. 
No, I just telling, need to find... I, another friend that to, 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 like also wants me to play Tales of Destiny that I would play it at some point. So I'm, I'm I was gonna say it's a four person honestly. game. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, he'd be into streaming, but I, I mean, I could ask, you know. Sure, sure. I mean, and we also all have to be available at the same time, which is very difficult. <laughs> no, that's that. That's easily the the easiest problem to solve of all things. I'm sure. Connor's trolling you guys. <laughs> it was the first time I could sit down with him in months. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> no, turns out busy it's people fun. are hard to get on. Well, especially like, you know, just these things come up, you know, sick kids and various things. Yeah, of course. Listen, you know I'm going to kickstart uh, White Ash. You send me that volume, what is it, volume three? Kickstarter link? It'll be eventually season two. I'm not exactly right. sure because we, we we'll have my money. Kickstarter will be. We'll be releasing, you know, White Ash. Uh, we're going to be doing season two. We're working on season two right now, and that'll just come out direct to market on Scout Comics. Um, Interesting. So I'm not sure exactly when the next Kickstarter. I want the Kickstarter. I want my name to appear in the back of the volume. We got you. Don't worry. We'll we'll eventually be doing another one, but we want to. Like... Uh, Charlie. Charlie. I demand that my name be put inside this, Charlie. Take my money. You know, I mean, with enough money, we could definitely manage that Kickstarter or no. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I wanna I'm not sure I want to put that much money in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just saying it's available. Yeah. There's a price for everything and, and we're ready to uh, Can I get a <laughs> executive producer credit on the front page with my name, executive producer? Arthur Perkins, White Ash. Yeah, I mean that's de that's definitely going to take uh, some financial capital. <laughs> <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> but you know, I mean, things are possible. I'll have to take a look at your prospectus. You know, you might have to play Marco back at Rockland a few times, learn that ten the ten times trick, and get your nine hundred uh, nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand. You want me to learn how to play a shell game in order to become. <laughs> an executive in your company i feel like you are preparing yourself for bad things to happen <laughs> probably i'm always doing that so that's par for expectations all right all right can we can we figure out a next date yeah next week is fine Maybe next week same, right. same time i mean yeah. assuming you know next week at noon should work for me better than this week okay yeah, sorry if uh you know it was an inconvenient time we can always yeah, it around, was my yeah. fault i uh i <clears throat> double scheduled and then something else popped up and so it was all it was like a cavalcade of crap flowing at the same time as far as i'm concerned you know a flex you know i'm flexible about the exact hour uh you know it just depends on the schedule like if you know if i gotta watch the kids or whatever that's one thing but if i'm you know if i'm available i'm not like very hard set on like an exact time we'll talk next week we'll talk we'll, talk. Yeah. we'll make it happen guys you could see another episode without having to wait six to eight months I'm hoping, because I really want to see you beat this game. This has already been a lot of fun. Thank you, AP. And you expect that I'm going to go into Suicoden 2 after that, or? I mean... Suicoden's uh, enough. If, look, if you if you like this game, Suicoden is pretty uh, universally hailed as a much better game. So, um, you know, I think I think you would enjoy it, but if you, you know, it's got a cooking game inside of it, if that's, any, if that's a selling point. I do like um, the... But, you know, decide if you like this one first, and, you know, like and see games. if you want to play the second. All right, Connor, this is going to be the series that takes me until my silver YouTube button, so I wanted to thank you right now. You're very welcome, AP. Thank <laughs> Let you. Let me for, get this uh, uploaded and sent to the people. Out. Sounds good.